Uh, yeah, alright. So anyway, um, I'm going to do a YouTube based on trends that I think are coming. Like, I'm not, I'm not a genius or anything. It's not like, oh my god, I see everything coming. But I see certain trends, usually tech stuff. So, ever since I was a kid, and like, parents were kids, and the parents' parents were kids, the powers that be, and I'm not saying it's, you know, New World Order or any of this shit, but whoever has set up the way things are, to get the most money out of us, things have been exactly the same and in their favor, as long as existence has existed, really. <clears throat> now, things are changing. So, we chase money all the time, not realizing that, the whole system is set up on purpose to overinflate the value of things. Like, cars should not be as expensive as they are. It's pretty ridiculous. Even though, I gotta say, if you wanted to buy, like, a truck, back in the day, a truck was like a rich man's vehicle. It was very expensive. Nowadays, you can get a, a truck fairly reasonably, but that's still, still not the point. <clears throat> so the only ways to have more money, if you're gonna play, you know, their game, is to make more money, which not all of us have that option. You don't get tiny raises, depending on where you work, of course. Uh, another thing is to pay less taxes, which you, there's a little wiggle room there, depending depending how good your accountant is, or how you can move your money around, that kind of thing. The third option is to pay less bills. <clears throat> and this is going to be what is going to change the world. So there's over, I googled it, there's over a billion people off the grid. Now, they're not saying which ones are, like, I have the means to go off the grid, or people that just can't afford anything. But there's over a billion people off the grid. And I'm going to say a very small percentage of those are those that have enough money and the means to go off the grid. But, <clears throat> hi Mr. Milton. See, he's adorable. He did here. He's always always coming in when I don't want him to and being bad. So, um, technology is changing to the point where, through the internet actually, the internet is probably the invention they never should have released. <clears throat> Back in the day, if you got a car loan... Or a house loan or something like that. It really... Like, I've talked to people who have houses and cars. Like, I just... I have a car. <clears throat> and it seems almost like a case-to-case -case basis. There are people that make more money than me. They got less and vice versa. It just It's completely willy-nilly. It's almost like how much the banker likes you personally. I'm not saying I'm that likable, but just through whatever, I've, I've gotten more than I really should. <clears throat> For a guy who uh, let his bills lapse in his 20s, I got right back up on my feet so that goes to show how stupid the system is and money is not it's not a thing like it's i had somebody call me for collection saying you have to pay your bills you know she was real conf confrontational and i just told her well how are you going to make me pay my bills if i don't have money i was like do you want me to sell my cat's food she's like yes <laughs> she lives in a fantasy world <clears throat> if i never paid any of the debts i owed it wouldn't change anything everything would be exactly the, the same so anyway, we now have all these different tech things. Like there's a water bottle that's solar powered. You put it in the sun, it warms up, and it pulls out ambient moisture and fills itself within, I think it's an hour, you get a liter of water. So that is going to change the world. As soon as that, I don't know if that has come out, like this is last year sometime I read about this. It's one of the greatest inventions ever. That means people, even in the desert, I think, will be able to pull moisture out. And if you're in the freezing cold, same thing. You could probably put this bottle inside your insulated coat and it will absorb your moisture almost like in dune when they have those still suits well it's going to be the same thing we have flying ambulances now i don't know when that's going to be standard also in france they have they're starting to implement the solar powered roads which is one of the greatest things ever that means electricity will be cheaper <coughs> or free it should be part of your taxes it really should so there's things that we paid for like electricity, uh, internet, cable, phones, all this shit. And nowadays, if you have an internet connection, which, you know, it's hard to... At home, if you want something fast and reliable, you have to pay for it. But, I mean, I read about the city of San Francisco. They were going to have citywide Wi-Fi. And even now, you get on a bus, even in shitty little Moncton where I live, you have free Wi-Fi. You can get Wi-Fi in any Tim Hortons or Irvings or all over the place. So, internet, if you're in a good location, can be free. And if you have internet, you can have a cell phone. Like, mine's not hooked up to any company. And it, uh, I can make calls. It comes up as a weird number, like some redirected Pennsylvania number or whatever. But you don't need to have... Like, I can still iMessage all my friends. It never changed. <clears throat> so, we're heading to a trend where 
certain things are going to start becoming free and part of your taxes. Like water should never be paid for. Yes, you have to harvest water and all that. It's a big thing, but it should be one of those things that is included in your taxes. Nobody should have or ever have to go hungry or thirsty or without clothing. That's just should just be basic rights. So they're gonna they've already started to come up with automated systems that do everything like cars. That's why a lot of manufacturing jobs don't like they blame like say the Trump thing they blame immigrants well 80 something percent I saw in this and who knows if this is true but 80 something percent of the job loss is actually due to technology where a robot welder will weld cars all day where a human could never do it as precise or as fast so eventually they're going to have these robot servers and they'll be programmed to do different things like in Japan they already have an automated robot that dispenses your food now, some people like the idea of paying for service. Well, I don't like that idea. When I go out somewhere, sometimes I don't want to deal with people. I'd rather deal with a robot, because you can tell the robot to fuck itself, and it doesn't matter. It's not going to get hurt. So they'll come up with these robots, <clears throat> and at first, yes, it's going to be a huge investment. And like my buddy, who's really dumb, pointed out, yes, it's only going to be for the rich. But the microwave used to cost, what, $1,000 in the 70s? It was ridiculous. Now they're 20 bucks. So robots, yes, are eventually going to be everywhere. And what we'll have them for is to do all the really shitty, dangerous jobs. Like, they'll be scrubbing nuclear reactors, they'll be mining, they'll be doing all this shit. Eventually, they'll be autonomous, where one of these robots malfunctions, a truck, an automated truck, and this is another thing that's coming out is automated trucking, will pick up this robot, give you a new one, take that one back to the factory, and just recycle all the parts. Every single fucking part of it that's working will be recycled for a new robot. They'll harvest all the minerals they need, the whole plant will be solar powered <clears throat> so it'll pay for itself after you get it up and running so eventually these robots will do things like you'll go to work and you'll come home and your house will already be clean like it'll scrub that house better than you ever could it'll have your supper like i don't know if robots are going to be and this is where i'm split on it if they're going to be better at cooking than we are or worse because be, there's no human hand in it so it might not taste good but then again if you can program in mom's gravy and get it just right, all of a sudden, the robot can do what your grandmother could do. Or, or mother. <clears throat> so this means that you will have certain things already covered. If you want to move, the robot will help you move. Blah, blah, blah. All these elderly care. Like, I dated a girl one time, she would have constantly throw her back out from lifting these really heavy patients. Well, if you have a robot to do that, then you still need a person there to... You know, you need that human touch to keep somebody healthy and all that. You can't have a robot hospital. But the, for all the really shitty parts of the job, robots will do it. So this means that if you have a robot, say they start making bread. It'll have this loaf of bread sitting at, you know, your local convenience store. It'll be robot-made bread, and it's completely self-sufficient because they grow all the crops, they harvest everything, it's all solar-powered. You can take bread home if you really need bread. And it may even be delivered by drone, which is another thing we're getting into, which is amazing. So you'll have to work less hard because internet will become free for everybody. It'll just be a thing that happens. I mean, I remember when Wi-Fi first came out, we were all just blown away. We felt like kings because we're in the backyard. Ha ha, look, I'm on the Wi-Fi. I still feel that way when I get on a Wi-Fi. Oh my god, I'm on a Wi-Fi. <clears throat> Eventually, internet will be included water and electricity. This is all stuff that you used to have to pay for and now you're not going to have to. And I don't, I don't know when this is coming, but soon. And the end game for this is money will become obsolete. And I don't mean in lifetimes. I mean, within my lifetime, I'm saying 20 years, money is going to become obsolete. I told my really dumb friend that I used to work with, keep an eye out for the next five years. You're going to see crazy technology. During the Bush administration, there was no tech. You didn't see great inventions and, and great science come out because he really peeled all that shit back to make more money for him and his awful friends. So, <clears throat> oh, sorry, I got to chest congestion the barometric pressure goes up and down it really fucks me up you'll have to work less because you'll have all this shit covered so the third option which is to pay less bills is going to become a reality it absolutely will you cannot this 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 um like pendulum has been swung so far to their side and they made gas prices go so high which it doesn't need to be that high that it forced us to start thinking of alternative meats so it is coming we are we are going to get off of their plan and eventually everyone will have a 3d printer there will be no more greed like i told this to my buddy liam and he said no there'll always be greed i'm like no if everybody is able to have what they want yes there will be people that will be greedy but if you go okay what do you want he's like i want a shelby cobra 3d printer makes you a shelby cobra cheap or a big house you want a big house it makes you a big house no problem 
all of a sudden you realize greed is stupid. Like, it will sink in eventually. And then we'll move away from this, like, money-chasing phase that we're in. That's pretty much all we've been doing, was chasing money. Everybody does. <clears throat> so the value of money will go down, and eventually we won't even have to work. And even my mom, as a workaholic, says, well, you gotta work. If you had all of your free time to do what you want, you would spend it with your friends, you could learn a new skill, a language, you could travel the world. Anything you want to do. Yes, there will be people that would be lost, and there'll always be, like, work you can do. Like, if you want to volunteer, if you want to help, it'll be more centered around us getting our shit together. Like, you're having problems. You go get free therapy. And there'll always be somebody who wants to help others. Like, it's just, it's in our, in our, in our nature to help others. So, we will eventually be free from these chains we're in. And we'll stop, like, maybe space exploration's your thing. There'll be cheap spacecraft. You can just go. Cars will be provided. Everything... You work a basic job, you should have a house, a car, and all the basics provided. If you want to work harder and get more, you will be able to. <clears throat> That'll always be a thing. But eventually, everyone will be, ha be able to have everything. Like right now, going on a cruise is something you have to save up for for like a year. And you blow so much money and it turns into a memory. And that that's why I don't go on vacation. Because I don't just don't want to spend three or $4,000 and go, here's your memory. And then you come home and you're stressed because you got to go back to work. So it's... Eventually, you'll be able to go on vacation every three months or save it up and just take the summer off or whatever you want to fucking do. It'll be amazing. It's all heading there. And we're getting <clears throat> out of the grasp of those that are in power. Like, oil, I guarantee, is on its way out. Like, last year was the first year we produced more energy from alternative means than we did from oil. Oil is very quickly losing its power for how long it's been in power for. We should have been off oil. Like, it's a just a dirty awful means to make electricity we don't need that anymore we've got solar we've got wind we've got everything else you can think of so we're heading in this direction and like i said i give it 20 years i can't foresee things that are going to happen like some big apocalypse happens like a meteor hits the earth i mean that's going to throw a monkey wrench into things but things being the way they are this is the way i see them going and like i said i'm no expert it's not like i know everything i don't <clears throat> 